Hey everybody, Ron Bielefell with Sing Wings Photography. How you doing this morning? Hey, I'm in the Kingfisher blind this morning and it's still dark out. So of course there's no bird on the perch yet. And that's why I'm talking to you now to introduce the subject of this video, which is a review of sorts. It's recently in the uh, market for a new tripod and I've been using C-Ray monopods for years now as part of my harness system and I really liked their quality and durability for the price point so I picked up a C-Ray Traveler VA tripod to use in my Kingfisher blind and this is going to be a review of that tripod so if you're interested in knowing more Stay tuned. Right, so I'm in my Kingfisher blind, like I mentioned earlier, and I'm doing a review of the Sea Ray Traveler VA tripod and video head combination. And there it is. It is a compact uh, little Traveler tripod, which I really, really like. And I went with the aluminum version because I think it'll hold up better in the sand and the mud and everything than uh, carbon fiber one would. It also has a center post. I know a lot of people don't like center posts, but for here in the Kingfisher blind application that I use it for, uh, the, the center post is really a necessity because it allows me to get the height just right without having to go about adjusting all three legs to get everything exactly the right height when you're working in conditions where you're standing in water, sitting in water, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, I'll go over more of the details of this tripod and uh, video head combination when I'm back in the studio. All right, so... I'm out of the Kingfisher blind and back in my studio area. And we're talking about the Sea Ray Traveler VA tripod, the aluminum version of this tripod that I have and I've been using now for a bit. Basically in my Kingfisher blind, like we started out this video, and I like the Traveler size tripods. Uh, I really have never seen a need for my applications for a big honking tripod even though I shoot things like a 600 f4 on an r3 or an r5 Canon 100 to 500 you know heavier stuff these travel tripods especially the sea ray tripod here in aluminum is plenty sturdy for what I do I've said in the past that it's not about stability so much it's about just holding the lens and camera where you want it because when I'm shooting video or I'm shooting action subjects, flying birds, which I do a lot of, there's, there's vibration and motion in there. So we're not doing landscapes. I don't have to have things perfectly still on the tripod. So these travel tripods are small and light and compact. This is, is how the C-Ray comes folded up like this. And you can see that it's going to be, now if you take the head off, it folds even you know, tighter, but the head's on right now. And I actually, when I'm traveling with it or I'm using it, I have it in a, what I would consider a more conventional uh, setup here like this, and it'll go in my backpack. I'll show you how it goes in my backpack here in a little while and how compact it is and, and how easy it is to, to carry. And one thing I really, really need when I'm doing my work most of the time, I'm sitting down a lot, I'm on uneven ground, whether I'm in the mud and water like I was in the Kingfisher blind or on rocks and things like that. It's almost impossible to get, when you're sitting in that, you gotta have a quick way to get the height of the tripod correctly. And when I'm in the water and stuff, I'm not going to worry about getting all three legs exactly the right length to get everything the exact right height for what I'm doing. In the blind, I'd rather get it close by extending a leg. 
extending the legs, get it close to that level that I want, and then fine tune it with the center column. I know a lot of people don't like center columns. They aren't stable, quote unquote, all that kind of stuff. But again, stability isn't really the big deal here for me. It's more being able to quickly set up and get the height right and be able to adjust it easily with one adjustment rather than adjusting three. And this C-Ray tripod does that just fine. Now this version of the tripod comes with, this is the, this is the Traveler VA, and it comes with the VA5 uh, video head on it. It's a compact little video head. I'm gonna set this up here so I can demonstrate that it's got a balancing system in it that's pretty pretty nice. So you can see it's loose now. The, the uh, vertical uh, movement part of the tripod is loose. So you can see that it balances. And I can go ahead and put my, tri my camera on here and it's just that quick. It's a quick uh, Arca Swiss compatible system to set this up and it just slides in and it locks in once it gets to a point. It's not gonna go any further. To get it out, you press, there's a button right here, and I'll show that in a close-up, that you just press in and it comes out. So this is not the plate that comes with the tripod. Let me get this in here correctly. This is just an Arca Swiss plate that I have. It comes with a plate as well, as well as spikes for the feet if you want to use those but anyway uh, once it's in there it's not going anywhere and then to you basically just level it on here to where it's not going to go anywhere and once you have that you tighten it down with this lever right here and it pivots there we go and you snug it up and now it's not going anywhere and it's relatively balanced I'm gonna get it to where I usually have it here with the lens extended a little bit because this is a zoom lens and then on the other side of the tripod head of this video head you have a tensioning knob to where you can set the tension on the vertical movement of, of the head and I like that in the sense that now I can get everything leveled out and it stays where I put it. Now, of course, it also has a panning function and that's here. And there's a knob, a little lever here that loosens and tightens the panning motion and it's very smooth for a compact head like this. And I can adjust the tensions just like I want it so now I can do my video work and pan very smoothly with my subjects without any issues. So the combination of this tripod and head, the price point is very, very reasonable for what you get out of this. Go ahead and check it out online. Go to C-Ray's website or go to Amazon or wherever you'd like to where you can find this. I'll have a link in the, in the description of the video. But for the price point, it's really hard to beat this little combination. I really like it. It's stable enough for what I do. I've got my 600 F4 there with my R5 on it. I've used that combination on this tripod and head as well. It's not really meant for weight like that, but it'll do it. And that's what I mean about these travel tripods like the C-Ray uh, Traveler VA here is that they can hold some weights that no, they say they shouldn't hold that much, but they do, and they do it really, really well, and I've been doing it for years. It works for me. This is the setup that I use most of the time, which is my R3 on a 100-500 or my R5 on the 100-500 for my video work. So anyway, I like this. It's easy to adjust the height exactly the way I want it with this center post like I'm talking about. So some of the other features of this, they, it does have bubble levels. A bubble level here on the actual tripod and a bubble level here on the head because you know how important it is to have things level. I'd almost like to get a leveling plate. That would be better, easier to get things level so that when you pan, things stay level. It does have that. The quick release, like I said before, just loosen this, slide it out. Again, this is not the plate it comes with. Every Arca Swiss plate I've tried to use with this head works just fine. Of course, they give you the one that they, they uh, provide with the kit. 
with the tripod. Some other things I like about this tripod. On the legs down here, there's actually a measuring scale so that you can get each leg exactly the same length. I've never seen that on a tripod before. Maybe it's out there, but I'd never seen it. So I thought that was kind of cool. The legs themselves, you can change the angle just like any other tripod. And I like the system that they have. It's a one finger, one thumb deal here, a thumb deal that works for me just fine. The really interesting thing though that I found about this tripod, how many of you take a tripod and a monopod with you on your, on your trips? It's getting harder and harder to travel these days, taking all this equipment with us, especially on airplanes, they just don't like it. They're telling you, no, you can't take this size bag. It's, got, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller all the time. With this tripod, <laughs> you don't need to take a tripod and a monopod because, let me, let me prep this a little bit. Let me take this head off. And of course, it comes with this head, the way I purchased it, but it does come off. So you can put on another head, such as this. We'll talk about that in a minute. But let's get on to what I was talking about here. You don't have to take a tripod and a monopod because this is a two-in-one tripod and a monopod. This leg right here, it says monopod right on there, unscrews from the tripod. You take the top plate off of the tripod just that quick. I'm going to set this down and then you just screw it in and now you have a monopod, a small light monopod. Okay, so that is pretty slick. I like it. Now I have a monopod if I really need one. I take a monopod most of the time because I have my harness system that I make and sell and I use all the time. And, but you know what, in a pinch, if something happened to that monopod and I was taking this tripod with me on my, on my tours as well, I have a backup monopod. Or if I'm not using my harness for whatever reason, I didn't take that monopod, I have a monopod and a tripod in this system. So, I mean, that is, I think that is really cool. And, uh, you know, so you're getting a monopod and a tripod in, in one for the same price. Now, of course, it has a convertible uh, head on it or base on it, so you can go the quarter 20 or the 3 8 whichever you need for your head. And that's good because all of mine are 3 8 And I'm talking about, let's take that off of there. Put this back together in the tripod orientation. Oops. Fine threads on here, so you gotta make sure you get them going the right way. put this back together and it came like I said with this video head but I also have another head that I, that I use all the time put that on there just to show you that you can put any head you want on here and it's gonna it's gonna work for the most part this is a combination ball head and gimbal head that's unique regular gimbal heads, another regular uh, standard type ball head whatever you have will go right on this tripod so you know, all in all, the weight of this tripod for being aluminum is very, very light and it's very compact like I was talking about before. So I can bring my bag over here. This is the bag I use most of the time when I'm in the field. I'm going to the Kingfisher blind and stuff like that or if I'm hiking or whatever. And how I usually do it. Get the two legs out. Put those in like that. Like that. Like that. And on my F-stop Talopa, away we go. So you can see that, and this is actually up a little bit, center. So let's put that down. So no problem at all putting it on a relatively small backpack. It fits just fine on the side for me. So I really like that system. 
take it out. So what else do I want to say about the C-Ray Traveler V8 2-in-1 tripod? The type of leg locks. I like the twist type. I do not like the lever type. They get caught on things when I'm going through brush or if I'm in a blind or something like that and all of a sudden they, they pop open and they, they collapse. These are really nice. They're just a quarter turn to loosen, quarter turn to tighten. That's it. I love that. All of Sea Ray stuff has been that way. You know, you can spend a lot more money on a tripod, even a traveling type tripod or a monopod than what you'd pay for the Sea Ray. I used to spend a lot more money on my tripods and my monopods, but I've been using, like I said, Sea Ray products now for a while, and I found them to be just as good, if not better, in usability and durability than the more expensive versions of these tripods and monopods. And so to me, at some point it comes down to value. You know, you, you just, I just can't be uh, spending all that money all the time on things uh, when I'd rather be spending them on, <laughs> on cameras and lenses for the most part. So overall, so far anyway, and I've been using it for a while now, over a month, and I'm using it like you saw early on in situations that are not just, I don't baby my equipment anyway, in any way, shape, or form. And so I'm gonna pick this up, put it up here. I don't baby my equipment in any way. I'm out in mud, rain, snow, ice. These things are standing in water all the time, salt water and um, fresh water here in Florida. And as long as you take a little care with them, I've had no issues with the durability of C-Ray products, and I don't expect any with this tripod. So I don't really think there's much else to say about this other than I'm going to keep using it and enjoying it. And if you're interested in getting one, you can check down in the description of this video, and you can find uh, links down there uh, to where you can uh, get more information about these tripods and monopods and purchase one if you'd like. So until next time, I hope you have great light. I hope you get great images. Be safe out there. I'll see you soon.